NASCAR reveals the modified valve stem found on Ty Majewski's car, which was used to slowly bleed air from the tires during a run, resulting in a 75-point penalty, five playoff points, a four-race crew chief suspension, and a $25,000 fine. Spot on, spot off, Freddie. Uh, spot on for NASCAR, you know, doing this and, and revealing the stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of what we said it was on here. Um, you kind of heard that rumor that getting that weekend after that race happened. Um, and listen, it's nothing new. These guys have been trying to bleed air out of tires forever. You know, it's a huge advantage when you can do it. Uh, we used to see people drilling little holes in the, in the wheels, you know, to bleed air. And, and what you're doing is just trying to get your, you know, you hear us say, or you, if you listen on the radios, you'll hear the crew chiefs early in a run, especially at short tracks, you know, all right, give it a chance for the tire pressure to come up. But what happens is you're trying to get your tires to an optimum tire pressure, and you have to start them low to get to that pressure because they're going to build air as you run. Um, so what this does is when you start building air, it gets to the pressure that you want it to be, and it bleeds off the air. So you maintain that optimal pressure for longer throughout the run. And, and you know, it's not a surprise that he went out there and, and dominated at places like <clears> Richmond <throat> and IRP <laughs> because this is that's where you want this optimal air pressure. And, uh, you know, no surprise it was the right rear tire. Um, and you see this. If you go to any dirt race in the world right now, you know, you'll see they, 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 they run very elaborate bleeders on their tires. You know, that they are – Legal. And it's legal, yeah, you yeah. know, so, and it's, it's, legal, it's legal in a lot of different series. I think NASCAR is one of the only ones that, you know, you can't, or ARCA, I guess, too, but, um, you know, they're legal there. You can get a look at them. They'll show them to you. You know, Chad's got probably stacks of them somewhere, um, and, and the, it's, a, it's an elaborate system that they use to, to maintain that optimal tire pressure. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm spot on for NASCAR stepping up here because this is, I, just, I don't think this is an old trick as well so but like got did uh he get two wins from that yeah no he didn't he win got, richmond yeah he won he, he won irp oh, right. he, he yeah. ended up losing richmond at yeah the end. but he's that was, one was more, he was dominating lap. yeah yes another <laughs> lap it was obvious like you could see the speed difference but um you know that that's um that's pretty big i mean obviously it's slow you that the truck has lost a lot of speed since then so I don't know. I don't think um, I think they're, you know, Ty, Ty's going to be he's a good driver and, and he's even a, he's even a better short track driver as well. So if you're, you know, a guy like that, that's probably the place that you don't even need it because you go there with a guy that's already good at it. What you know, that's not even sure that's a place that I would want to do it the most. So um, spot on for the penalty spot off for Ty because, Ty, you know, I like Ty and he's a, I think he's a good driver. Is this blade at cheating? Yes. I don't think it was put on there by an accident. Is this blade at cheating? Yeah. Is this? Is there any bigger form of blade at cheating than this? I mean, yeah, there's some bigger Probably. forms, but this is blatant cheating. I mean, so you put Elliot a Sadler he tweeted, uh, "This has been around for decades. Up Hathfield was doing it at one time. They should just make it legal. That way, teams can do it in a safe manner. There's too much speed and bleeding tires to not do it." Um, we don't need to go faster. <laughs> I don't disagree with Elliot, but Elliot, that's not the case. If this is against the rules, and what they did to invent an opportunity to do this is blade at cheating. I don't think this this fine is stiff enough. I, I really don't because you're basically saying to all your competitors that you're trying to outrun every single week, F you guys, I'm going to outrun you. You'll have no chance to beat me because I have something that you do not have. And I'm all for playing in the gray. I'm all for being innovative. I know that's gotten harder around here. But to go out and blatantly cheat, dude, that's like me putting Vaseline on my golf club before I hit the ball to take my slice out if I'm playing in a PGA event. I'm glad you said that. I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> well, there's a lot of different ways to go with that. But that particular way is, so to, make my balls, golf club, is to make the balls go straight down the fairway, okay, to take the spin off your balls. But in this particular situation, I think the crew chief should be indefinitely suspended because this is blatant cheating. He, Ty, how do we know that Ty Majeski doesn't have a net win in this penalty? He lost five mm -hmm. playoff points and 75 points. How do we know that he didn't gain more points and more playoff points than that by cheating? And what, other races, What is too. to stop you? You know, if it's just fast forward and it's hypothetical, and, you know, you could say these all day, but what if this was Vegas? 
what if this, you know, Cup Series and you're cheating in Vegas, you win the race, you know, you get, you know, whatever, you, oh, you had bleeders on, but, you know, we find in the following week, you've just, you're in the Final Four now. There's no penalties, don't matter. You know, what if like, this is Phoenix? <laughs> yeah. What if it's Phoenix? <laughs> what if it's Phoenix and he's bleeding his tires? <laughs> and he goes out and kicks everybody's ass and wins. What happens? The number one thing, Brandon is now uh, leaving us to go to South Boston Speedway. He's sitting here. The number one thing we used to look for when we would watch a race go under red flag is will anybody that's out here on this racetrack get a flat tire? Because if they do, they're probably bleeding their tires. Yeah, there was a I, point where NASCAR mm -hmm. would walk up and down pit road and randomly – grab tires and go put them in a Duncan booth to see, obviously, if air was coming out of the tires. I've seen the tool that we used to use. You grabbed it like it was brass knuckles. It had a little bitty pin that stuck out your middle hand, and you popped the tire, and when you did, it made a tiny hole in the sidewall. Boom. Let the air out. So, right. So, so my point is, this is – oh, this is cheating. So, so the problem the, – here's the issue that you have, and it's they didn't get caught at IRP where they won. They got caught the following week at Milwaukee. So – you know, you can, there's always that deniability. Ah, oh, this is, I just put this on there, you know? So that's why they didn't, I mean, but, you know, so that's why Phoenix, like if they found it after Phoenix, you would just get disqualified. But like if you did it at, at Vegas and then we go to <clears> wherever <throat> the hell we race after Vegas and it's, and you've got something illegal, well, you were probably running it at Vegas, but now you're only going to do, you know, we're going to give you a five point. You, you just you won sure? your way into the final four. Are you sure you're going to find it at Phoenix? No, I'm just saying, like, you, no, but I'm just saying, like, well, I, mean, I burned the everybody's tires off cheat. the thing. Listen, everybody's cheating <laughs> at Vegas. When we, get the, when we get to Phoenix, everybody's cheating, just for the record. Um, but, you know, it, it just this, like, to your point, like, there's no penalty. He, he had already won the race. He kept the win, so that locked him into the next round. He lost the points that he got from the win, the five bonus points. But is that really enough? You've already <clears throat> transferred through. Yeah. So it's, it's a weird deal. TJ, you mentioned and, that. And, 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 oh, by the way, Casey, one more thing. I'm not mad at Ty Majeski for this no, because I don't know if Ty knew. I also know that as a race car driver, you want to go as fast as you can. So maybe right. if you do know, you're like, well, I can't. I mean, what do I do? Tell you not to do this? You're my boss. Ultimately, you're, you're over the car. I'm over driving the car. So I'm not mad at Ty Majeski here. I'm mad at whoever invented this thing, which, oh, by the way, it was brilliant, uh, and whoever said, yes, put that on. You should be gone. TJ, earlier you mentioned that you could tell – Ty's speed was a little bit higher than. Yeah. Did you so, not? You see so, the right. right. So, but, so is that something that NASCAR just automatically checks well, or no, because sure of the, because of that discrepancy? He's going to be probably the random. We finished top three or whatever it is in the truck. So he's gonna, they're going to check him. But this is like, this is blatant cheating. But it, like, so when the 19, obviously at Martinsville many years ago in the cup race, they got a little right front fender damage. I mean, it was probably enough they could have kicked it out, but no, they brought this massive saw out there and they cut this huge square off right in front of the right front tire, which is keeping that right front tire cooler. Which this is the same. It's they're doing the same thing. They're keeping the air pressure down on the tire. But then is that, isn't that cheating as well? No, you have damage on your your car, so you're just clearing it in the Fix, fender, fixing it. You're fixing which it. Which benefits it. Do you agree with Elliot that we should allow bleeders? No, I don't think we should allow bleeders. No, I think that I watched I, I watched a video that Larry Mack did about bleeders, and it's, you know, you worry about, and you know, we saw yesterday people getting flats. You know, you worry about these high-load places. If you've got a tire bleeding air and intention, intentionally keeping the pressure down, yeah. you're going to see that more often, and the speeds what if you are have going. A, what if you put this tire on that has low air pressure? And then we have a quick yellow, and then that thing bleeds out more than that. Then that left rear is even lower than where it should be. And we go back green, and them guys are popping tires at a 200 mile an hour in the corner. I don't. I'm not smart enough to know if we should be allowed to run bleeders. That's why I asked what y'all thought because I truly don't have an opinion. I just know it's illegal, and I know this guy did it, and I know he should be kicked out. That's it. Correct. Who should be kicked out? Whoever did it he and the crew that. chief. He said I would kick the tire guy out and the crew chief out <laughs> indefinitely. This is no different than the jet fuel thing at Michael Waltrip <clears throat> when he made. Why would you kick the tire guy out? He's just doing what he's told to do. Well, that tough <laughs> shit. I, you have to so have enough integrity if he to says say. He, okay, so he's going to get fired because he's not going to do guess it. Guess what happens if they if, if he says, I'm not doing this. He don't he don't get kicked out. He can go get another tire guy job. There's tons of tire. There's more jobs in our sport right now than you've ever, there's ever been. So I'm not buying. He can't say, I'm not doing that. I don't think. I don't think tire. At a truck series, a to guy. To make 40 grand a year and put freaking caps on tires, I'm going to say, I'm not doing that. And that guy, I'm not saying. He might not ever get another job. In the, yeah, in the, it's not as easy as you Yeah, think. he's doing what he's told to do. If Dell Jr. walks in here and tells you to untie your shoes and walk 10 laps around the table, you're going to do it. I'm going to tell him to f*** off. <laughs> Will you, though? 
Should we find out in Vegas? Dale Jr. ain't my daddy. Knew what should an idiot. We, should we find out in <laughs> y'all, Vegas? Y'all have got a completely wrong perception of me. If you think I'm going to untie my shoes and walk around the block because I mean, somebody I, told me I to didn't do say it. the block. I, I said agree that, table. that we have a wrong perception of certain things. 